from this to this how to achieve this so guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Mutema, and in today's video i'll show you how i retouch the photos from my previous video if you haven't watched the video click this link up here and uh in today's video i'll show you how i did frequent separation dodge and burn and color grading more specifically correcting tones in photo so guys you can see we are in lightroom and the settings i used for these photos was uh iso uh, 100, I used a 85 millimeter lens, I f2.5 and shutter speed of 1 over 100. So what I did, you can see, let me show you the before and after. This is how I shot the images direct from the camera. And this is how the images look after I color corrected with uh, <clears throat> my studio best preset. So what I'm going to do, I won't go back that. So I'll go ahead and edit in Photoshop. And we are right now here in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do frequent separation in these images so i'll control j twice let's name this texture let's rename this color so i'll disable the texture layer then go to the color go to filter blur gaussian blur and remember i use a very low aperture on these images so the radius would be so high so i'll use a radius of seven and then say okay and then come right here to our texture select activate and enable the texture then go to image then apply image and then because our image is a 16-bit image i'm going to use the 16-bit uh, method so i'll come here and select the color layer make sure the blending mode is at add and make sure invert is selected and scale to offset of zero opacity 100 and say okay let's change the blending mode to linear light perfect so i need to create a black and white layer so that i can see the shadows and the highlights perfectly before i start brushing black and white perfect so go ahead and pick your mixer brush tool make sure it's a clean brush wetness of 10 load 75 mix 90 and flow of 100 and make sure sample or layers is not selected and if you want to rotate your images to for perfect uh retouching to blend the uh, skin tones perfectly just press r in your keyboard and rotate like this and let's start brushing uh, for my images, I prefer removing the blemishes immediately after I'm done with frequent separation. So um, let's brush. So you can see how I'm brushing. I'm not uh, mixing shadows and the highlights. I'm trying to brush the shadows alone, the highlights alone. You can always go ahead, disable the black and white so that you can see how well your blending is. So almost done with the face. Always disable the uh, black and white so that you can see how much you are uh, blending like that. I think the image is really, really coming along. If you want to go back to your uh, straight image or the upright modes, always press escape or crop on your keyboard or C on your keyboard to crop. Brush this like that. Let's come right here brush and you can see because we used a very low aperture some parts of the model are, are slightly blurred but that's part of the creativity i like shooting that way sometimes so yeah let's brush this area like this like that also let's continue with the brushing brush is jumping and jumping this is looking really really it's coming really nice let's brush this area down here but we also don't want to over edit the image because we need the image to look to come out really nice but just a sample way on how I really retouched this and color corrected these images. So let me zoom out and see how much I've done so far. Yeah, I feel it's really coming along. It's coming along perfectly. So at that point, I feel I'm okay with the how the image looks after frequent separation. So what I'm going to do, I need to remove uh, all the blemishes. So 
Let's zoom in our image slightly and pick our clone stamp tool. Make sure it's a very soft brush. Hardness at zero and opacity 100, flow 100. And let's uh, select on the texture layer. Let, let's sample and paste, sample and paste, because we need to remove all the blemishes. Sample and paste. 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 I think I overdid there, so let's undo. Sample and paste this area like this. I'll remove that later, so sample and paste. Sample and paste. Sample and paste. Sample and paste. <laughs> sample and paste. Sample and paste. Yeah, so I guess I'm very okay with how the image is looking right now. So the next thing I'm going to do, if you see this area, it's slightly darker than the face. So I'll let's delete the black and white. I'll go to my actions and run the uh, global dodge and burn action. So. And then I'll open the uh, group and select the dodge. Let's, let's make sure the flow is at, uh, let's say 15, 10, anything which will be perfect for you as long as the face has to match with the uh, skin. So let's increase the uh, brightness right here because we need this. And guys, you see the reason the light is not enough on this image because we are using just one speed light and it's the best way for a beginner to just shoot amazing headshots. And remember, we haven't even cropped the images, so yeah. Before and after. So I like how the image is looking right now. So what I'm going to do, I just control shift out and here to create a mud layer with everything, the frequent separation and the dodge and burn. And then I'll go ahead and crop this image to the Instagram size, so uh, four by five. Then I'll raise it up because I need it to be, to look as nice as possible. I think at that point, it looks nice. Perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I need to do uh, dodge and burn to enhance the shadows and the highlights perfectly. So I'll go back to my actions and run the uh, micro dodge and burn. And then come back here and run the invert check layer so that you can see the highlights and the shadows perfect. And then let's, you see on the invert check layer on the levels, just push the levels, uh, the mid-tones this way so that you can see the highlights and the shadows perfect. Then open the dodge and burn, open the dodge layer, then pick your brush tool and make sure the flow is at, uh, let's say uh, one or two percent. Let's brush on the highlights because we need to enhance the highlights to make them look amazing. I think that's done. So I go back and select the burn and I'll have to, I'll just burn the cheekbone because I need to make it pop more so slightly like that. Let's disable the invert check layer and see how much we have done so far before and after, before and after. You can see the slight uh, difference which adds some depth in the image. So, yeah. Perfect, perfect. I like how the image is looking. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I need to do a color grading of this image, and we shall be using a selective color. So, I'll control shift at and T to create a matte layer of everything that's micro dodge and burn, global dodge and burn, and frequency separation. And then come right here to selective color and select come. To new adjustment layer, then select selective color. And then let's start with the uh, reds. You see uh, images contain uh, red, skin tones contain reds and yellow. So you have to play around with those to get the perfect skin tones. And also add a little bit of uh, black or neutrals to add dramatic effect on the image. So what I'm going to do, I'll select the reds and push the cyan's to, let's say, negative 13. And push the yellows to, let's say, negative, let's say, plus. 14 and then come plus 12 to 14 that's okay then come right here to yellows and then push the cyan's to 
this side slightly and push the yellows to uh, negative uh, 6 to 10. That's okay. And then come back down here to blacks and let's push the blacks this side slightly to let's say negative uh, 4. And then come to yellows on the blacks and push it to negative 3. And that's looking really, really nice. Let me show you the before and after, before and after. You can see it adds this uh, dramatic effect on our image to make it look nice. So the next thing I'm going to do, I need to do eye and teeth uh, whitening. So I'll come up here and select eyes and teeth whitening. And then I'll open my group and select on the photo filter one and then zoom in your image slightly. And then pick your brush tool, make sure it's a, to reduce the size of the brush, you can always click the uh, left bracket and let's increase the flow to 100% um, or 60% depending on how the effect you want to look like, but you can always go ahead and reduce the opacity to make it look amazing. So let's reduce the, let's brush right here to just make the eyes white here than how they looked before. And the reason you can see some parts of the image are blurry because we used a uh, very low aperture 2.5. It's not recommendable, but if you want dramatic effects on your image, and the reason I use it solo because you know, Speedlight don't have so much power, so you have to be creative with your images and I feel like we achieved really nice images. Now after all this, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll go to my uh, new adjustment layer, then select the gradient uh, map. And then I'll, on the gradient map, I'll come here and select the uh, legacy gradient and come down here, select photographic toning and let's select this right here, it's called a uh, sapia antique and say, okay, uh, change the blending mode right here to soft light and let's reduce the opacity as low as possible so that we can end up with some really, really nice tones right there. I think four, four is okay. Let's see, before and after, before and after. So uh, let's put everything in our, in our group and let's rename this to full workflow. Workflow, right? And let's see, Let's see, this is how the image looked uh, straight from uh, Lightroom. And this is, how, this is how the image looked straight from the camera. This is how the image looked after I added the preset. And this is how the image looked from, the, from Lightroom after I added the preset. And this is how the image looked after I'm done with frequency separation, dodge and burn, and color grading. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you want this preset, you can click this link up here and you'll download the preset. Thank you for watching up to this far and hope you enjoyed this video. And